The humanitarian crisis in Haiti is worsening as escalating gang violence rips the Caribbean nation apart. On Friday, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the plan to create a transitional presidential council on the island is moving forward after the prime minister was forced to resign. The transitional governing body aims to restore stability in a country where political turmoil is driving a rise in hunger. Christian Benavides is in the Dominican Republic at the border crossing between the DR and Haiti, where many Haitians come for basic necessities. Unfortunately, Haiti is absolutely collapsing, and very low-income people are just flooding the borders. And that's a problem because these really aren't the best Haiti has to offer. Like, if they were coming over legally on some sort of scholarship through college... That wouldn't be a problem. Every citizen from Haiti that goes to college in America from some sort of scholarship because they're smart is a great worker. But also they, they're great nurses, engineers, even from Africa. All the people that come from Africa through college or through some sort of financial scholarship are all excellent workers when they come over legally. But when we just allow every single person to come over very low-skilled workers and why do we want low-skilled workers they're going to take more than they put into the system that's just a fact <laughs> chaos and unease in haiti's capital this week the main prison there was set on fire violence that has plagued the nation for years escalated since a brazen prison break there two weeks ago, forcing thousands to flee their homes. You probably understand that they are not economic migrants. They're basically seeking safety from criminal gangs. However, international law dictates that you go to the closest country, which would be the Dominican Republic. Don't know what to do anymore, this man says. I was shot at. Tear gas is being used against us. It's a crime against humanity. At the border with the Dominican Republic, the gates have opened, with tens of thousands of Haitians pouring in. But there's a catch. They can only travel a hundred yards into the country, and they all need to be back in Haiti before sundown. So the leader of Haiti right now is named Barbecue. He is a cannibal. His followers are also cannibals. Out of all the immigrants coming from Haiti, there's bound to be some cannibals. Just the sheer odds, the number of immigrants coming from Haiti, there's bound to be a percentage of cannibals. And unfortunately, I am against cannibal immigration. I don't know about you, but I am. It's a small window, a couple of days a week for Haitians to shop for goods at this open air market. Most carry back what they can, on foot, pushing carts, even on their head. When the market reopened today, men were put on one side, women and children on another side. Dominican officials tell us this has been happening ever since the prison break. The market is the lifeblood on both sides of the border, now choked ever since the crisis in Haiti escalated. About 75% less customers. Yes. Thomas that translation was wrong. The interview is trying to trick you. He actually said, I ate some corn today with a side of human. Nah, just kidding. Liberato, who runs this live chicken coop, says he is at risk of bankruptcy. So you used to sell about 5,000 chickens. You're down to 250 to 500 chickens. Due to the crisis in Haiti, some customers have stopped coming. Gangs block the roads to the border. They steal chickens from his customers. And then there's the days Dominican officials shut it down. On Friday, this was the scene as Haitians rushed the border and it had to be temporarily closed. Sometimes it doesn't reopen. Border tensions remain high. Friday night, just about 100 yards behind me on the Haitian side of the border, gunfire rang out. And then earlier in the week, Two Haitian nationals attempting to cross the border were shot by a Dominican soldier. One was killed. What's happening in Haiti is incredibly sad. There's no doubt about it. However, they don't need to come to America. They don't cross the ocean to come to America. International law dictates that they go to the closest bordering country, which would be the DR. They are clearly just coming to America for economic gains and not really seeking safety. I mean, probably they are. 
but they're doing it also for economic gains. That's not right. 